In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate mapping data in XMAP tools and how to adjust the display. And for that, I'm going to use an example that is the example provided in the second tutorial. So you can check the user guide and download the data directly in XMAP tools. So let's get started. In this example, I'm showing the aluminum map here in the X-ray workspace. So what we are looking at here is an X-ray intensity the number of counts recorded for every pixel of this image. And when I select the map, the color range here will be adjusted directly by using the lower value available in the map, in this case, four counts, and the upper value at 5,232. So you can decide to change manually this range, for example, by using here, typing in directly the value 1,000, and here you see the results. Now the color range is going from 1000 to 5232 counts. If I select aluminum again, it will reset the display to the original value, the minimum and the maximum value. There is also an option that allows you to adjust automatically the contrast. And for that, I'm going to select another map, calcium, and to select only the pixels of carnet. Here with the minimum value, 26 counts, and the maximum value, 5,380, you don't see any clear compositional zoning. If I press the Auto button here, it will adjust and restrict the range between about 250 and 500 counts, and now you can distinguish some compositional zoning. And then you can, of course, adjust if you prefer to have different uh, scales on your color bar here. The next step is to adjust the view that we have in this window. So we can select the zoom option here, and then we can drag the mouse over the area to zoom in. And if you want to further adjust the view, you can select the pan mode here and move the map over the area. Let's say that we want to use this uh, view. Now we can apply a median filter to reduce the noise that we have in this part of the grain. So press this button, apply median filter, and it will filter the image. Of course, you change the value of the pixel and you use the average of the neighboring pixels. We can disable the filter by just simply clicking again the same button. You can also decide to change the color palette and use any color palette that is available in the program. Now I'm resetting the view by using this reset option. I'm displaying all the phases, so known in the mask menu, and back to the element aluminum. You see that the scale of the color palette is linear. And there is an option in XMAP tools that you can use here, log scale for the color palette. If you select this option, it will switch here to a logarithmic scale. It means that you can distinguish zonation in the low concentration range, but also in the high concentration range. If you want to inactivate this option, just click again here on the button and you come back to the view. At any step, if you are happy with the image that you generated and you want to save this image, you can select in the menu File export image and it will clone exactly the same image and open it in a new window. And this one, you can save it, file save as, and use any format you like, like a MATLAB figure or, for example, a PDF file that you can directly import into uh, Illustrator, for example. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any question, you can ask on a XMAP Tools forum. Just check out the website.